So you build a shiny new home theater PC and now you want to put it to good use by playing media from the comfort of your own couch. But in the world of the so-called 10-foot interface, what applications are a cut above the rest? Stay tuned to find out. Brought to you by Audible. Here are three great free and open source HTPC programs that compare very favorably to their proprietary software cousins. XBMC Media Center, formerly Xbox Media Center, was originally created to run on the Xbox console. XBMC is a flexible media center app that gives Windows Media Center a run for its money. You can use it on just about everything known to man, including Windows, Mac OS X, Linux, BSD, Apple TV, iOS, and Android. There's a stripped-down version of Ubuntu available called XBMC Ubuntu, which is designed to be a complete instant-on and standalone installation of XBMC. There's also an optimized Windows-only rewrite of XBMC available called Media Portal. Myth TV is a media center application available for Linux, Windows, and Mac. It has super strong digital recorder features as well as media playback. This makes it a great alternative to both Windows Media Center and services like TiVo. You can watch, pause, rewind, schedule, record, and playback HDTV shows without being tied to your television service provider, which is a blessing. No offense, Comcast. Several Linux distributions designed with Myth TV as their main function are available, including Mythbuntu, based on Ubuntu of course, and Mythdora, based on Fedora, though that's no longer under development. Linux MCE is a Kubuntu-based application that allows your computer to function as a media center, digital video recorder, and home automation system. This means you can control your lights, refrigerator, and anything else that can be networked together from your PC. It only runs on Kubuntu and utilizes programs like Myth TV to be a single control point for your entire home. I need to get this type of system going on at my place. There's even multiple skins you can choose from to make your house act even more like the Starship Enterprise. Check out this guy, he's using a port of the XBMC Aeon skin running in Linux MCE. Sorry about the shaky cam in the last clip, but it's still pretty sexy, huh? Actually, if you have an HTPC setup, I would love for you to post a video response showing it off. Thanks for watching OS Alt. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on next Friday's episode of All Things Open Source. Now I'm going to PAX. Now it's time to pay my bills. My guilty pleasure, Stephen King novels. Out of 100,000 audiobooks on Audible's website, I picked the book about the evil clown to listen to at night. And I wonder why I have insomnia. Just go to audiblepodcast.com slash osalt to get a free audiobook download of your choice when you sign up today. And I promise, evil clowns are totally optional.